All right, we are finally, finally getting a new update to Battlegrounds, which has just been absolutely stale for the past, like, two months. So I'm hyped. We're getting Season 3. So there's going to be a lot of changes in this because a whole new season. Uh, I'm going to try to make this quick, so let's just get into it. Uh, season 3 is upon us. Professor Putricide will be taking over. There's going to be no quests. Quests are gone now. Um, we're getting a new tribe. This is hype. And then dual type minions. So you get like a beast, murloc, kind of stuff like that. Like, uh, we get a look at some of them. So, after you play a battle cry, you gain 1-1. One, one. So it's like a murloc and a dragon. It's kind of like a mini Caligos. It's like a selfish Caligos. It does the Caligos effect, but it only does it to itself. This is great though, because it's, battle cries are good for dragons and murlocs. So, yeah, this is this makes sense. It's a two drop seems pretty good actually. Then you've got um, Sin Runner Blanchi. I don't know how to. I'm not gonna. I, I, you know, <laughs> it's reborn, and it reborns with its full health and enchantments. So this is actually kind of insane. <laughs> like you can buff the shit out of this. You put Divine Shield on it probably. There's some way to do that. Um, and they're just gonna come back with all of that. So that's actually crazy. And it's an undead and a beast. So undead's a new tribe. Um, and they're showing off some of the undead cards here. So we've got one where it's Avenge 1. Just anything dies. Gains 1-1 one, one permanently. So I'm going to assume the undead kind of their tribe thing is to like die a lot and come back. Like with the reborns and stuff. You can already see that here. This one's got a reborn too. Um, yeah, this seems pretty good. Pretty good five drop, honestly. Seems like one of the it'd be like one of the core cards of an undead build if that's what you're doing. That's what I think at least. Um, yeah, seems good. Avenge one, good with tokens too. Now you got Colossus of the Sun. Is Divine Shield Reborn six six? It's six drop. Doesn't feel like a six drop to me, but it's just like it's just kind of good. You know what I mean? It's not like great card. It's just good. I mean, actually, it is pretty strong just on its own like i just don't see that what it it doesn't have any like effect you know you want that effect as a six drop but like it's just, it is just a solid card like this is going to do what 24 damage total because it's going to get hit for six lose the divine shield do six come back with the divine shield lose that do six six you know that's a lot now okay professor putricide is coming back and what does he do Craft a custom undead. Three creations left. So you get three total. It costs four gold. That's a lot. That's actually a lot. I'm going to assume what this does is the same thing that, if any of you guys played Standard, what that like Rexar hero did when they first, in um, uh, Frozen Throne, I think it was. I've been a while since I played Standard. But like, where you get to pick between two, like you get to pick between two beasts and then you combine both of their effects and stats into one. I assume... That's kind of what this dude's going to do, but just with uh, any of these new undead minions. I mean, imagine you put this together. <laughs> that would be crazy. So it's getting reborn, and it's coming back with full everything, and then it's got Divine Shield on it. This would be nuts. Uh, yeah, he seems alright, I guess. The, the fact that this costs 4 is like really dangerous, in my opinion. I assume you'd want to be higher tier 2, or else you wouldn't get access to the higher tier cards. So, like... It's a pretty late game hero, but probably all right. I don't think he's great. Uh, getting a new Battlegrounds track. You know, this is... I don't really care about this. Like, we're getting new emote skins. Yay, still got to pay money for it. Oh, look, two hero slots. Two, still got to pay to get two extra heroes. So, like, yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to give Blizzard the, like, satisfaction of, like, me looking through this. Like, if you, if anyone cares about this, look through it on your own time. I'll probably buy it, of course, because I, like, make videos on this game, but, like, I'm not going to be happy about it. I don't know what the hell any of this means. Um, there's going to be doing a bunch of reveals soon, and then there's going to do a preview event. So, yeah, it looks like a bunch of streamers and stuff are going to be participating in this. Makes sense. Yeah, your favorite content creators. What about me, huh? I'm not your favorite content creator? Okay. Okay, Blizzard. With my 300 subscribers and all. Uh, 
no, but Team Latin America. And there's some there's some great streamers here. I would recommend you guys check this out if you're interested in watching the event. Yeah, you got Crip here, Bo for a dog. Sorry, I don't really know these people. I don't uh don't not in the Latin American region. But yeah, you got Crip, Bo for a dog, um, Educated Collins. Sorry if I don't know some of the other people, but yeah, and this one you got RDU, Super JJ, Shady Bunny, like some you know just really good battleground streamers that are going to be participating in this so if you are interested in like getting a head start i guess and like kind of seeing the meta like this is this is going to be i i would check this out um they'll be streaming from their perspective but they'll have additional season pass codes okay so you're going to be able to get some season pass codes too if you uh if you watch that's pretty good too uh they're doing twitch drops you get this if you want to watch some bgs on twitch that's pretty much it i think we'll get some actual card reveals soon but yeah i just want to do a quick review of like the new season finally that's all i can say finally i haven't played this game in like a couple months because it's just been like it's just been gross it's just not fun it's boring it, the meta is the same everything yeah. as much as i like the quests it'll be kind of fun with them gone like they were good but I understand why they're replacing them. Like, you know, it's a new season. There's a bunch of new content in other ways, like this whole dual type minion stuff. Um, it's like the same thing as buddies. I assume buddies and quests will come back at some point. Imagine both at once. <laughs> Imagine you get buddies. Oh, now that would be nuts. Um, yeah, but I assume all that stuff Blizzard's done in the past, like couple seasons, is not going to be permanently gone. Like, you have a feeling it'll come back at some point maybe season four it'll be like dual type and buddies or buddies in quest something like that but for now quests are gonna be gone yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this uh if you're interested in seeing more hearthstone content i'll be going over all the new cards and stuff when they get released and i'll be definitely making a bunch of videos of gameplay when this actually comes out finally but yeah if you if you like this one subscribe and for more, and I'll see you guys next time.